Hello, YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today, we got the the wonderful. Go ahead, get the music hype. We got our man coming in here today, Neo. He's on a roll. Oh, let's see it. Cut the music again. Parents have almost almost forgotten what the role of a parent is. Amen. It's like, okay, Lost control. if your little boy comes to you and says, Daddy, I want to be a girl. And you just let him rock with that? You just let... Right. He's five. Right. And where did he get that if from? If you let this five-year-old boy decide to eat candy all day, he's going to do that. Exactly. Like, when, when did it become a good idea to let a five-year-old, let a six-year-old, let a 12-year-old make a life-changing decision for themselves? Right. When did that happen? Right. Like, I don't, I don't understand that. I, I, just, I don't get that. Don't and get to that. medicate these young kids that are five, six, growing up and knowing that it, it affects their brain, it affects their organs, it mm -hmm. makes them sick, but they're not allowed to do drugs, they're not allowed to do alcohol. Right. We can medicate them. He can't them drive a car yet, but he can decide his sex. Right, oh, right. what sex orientation, and he can cut up his pee pee, and, and that, to me, that makes no sense whatsoever. Is, I, so I, I don't know if this is true, but I heard a rumor that they, they, they either passed or are trying to pass a law in LA that states, if your child comes to you and asks to do some of these things and you say no, they could take your kid for you. Yeah, them. that's true. Just passed in California. That does that makes no sense. They want us to have no control over our children. But I don't. I don't get it. In schools, I don't get it. Hospitals, libraries. Yeah. They just want to manipulate. You got to understand when they're so young and they're already that's impressionable. That's right. Mm -hmm. And from them, they're gonna believe what you say. I mean, yeah. we say Santa Claus is real. You know, the Easter and they Bunny. It. Like, right. Come exactly. Come like, you they know what they're doing. Remember who you're dealing with. Like, I, I don't. I, I can't take credit for it, but it, I heard somebody say one time. He's like, "All right, if your son comes to you and says, Daddy, I want to be a girl, ask your son, son, what is a girl?'" Mm, that's a good one. What is he gonna do? He's gonna say, uh, "Well, he might, he might want to play with dolls." All right, you want to play with dolls? Fine, play with dolls. Right. But you're a boy. Right. Playing with dolls. That's right. I want to wear pink. All right, cool. Wear pink. But you're a boy. That's right. Wearing have pink. No oh. issue with with the LBG. I have no problem with none of it, with nobody. Okay? Right. Love who you love. Do what you do. Exactly. I just personally come from an era where a man was a man and a woman was a woman, right. and it wasn't but two genders, and that's just how I rocked. Me now, too. It, 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 you could you could identify as a goldfish if you feel like. Right. <laughs> I, don't I agree. Care. That ain't my business. It, just, it becomes my business when you try to make me play the game with you. I'm not going right. to call you a goldfish, but exactly. you, you want to be a goldfish, you go be a goldfish. It's all Amen. Good. I mean, That's yeah, it's, it's just, we live in a weird time, man. We, we do. Didn't. Trigger Let's warnings. What the right. hell is a trigger warning? <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I, it's just, when, I it just is don't weird know times. when the world became so sensitive. Like, like comedians can't tell jokes no more. No. Like, everybody's offended. It's a joke. It's right. a comedian. <laughs> right. It's a joke. You're not supposed to take it serious. It's a joke. Right. His literal job is to joke. About want, everyone. About everyone right. and everything. <laughs> and people want to get offended and like, don't say that. That's that's triggering. Oh my God. You know what? Yeah. Sit in your house by yourself. <laughs> exactly. It just it, it annoys me. It annoys I mean, me. anything can trigger. All right, Mio, you did a great job there, man. Uh congratulations. Um, and you know, of course. You know, I, I obviously stand for what he had to say, and I think it was wonderful. And uh, DJ, you know what to do. I think back what I said, Mr. Neo. Right after this, guys, a day later, decided to. You know, you know who came after him as soon as he said those things? The people at B. They said, it's going to affect your career. It's going to match up your money. You get back and put your butt cheeks right back on that Twitter. X. Go right back there. And you apologize. Because if you do not, I'm coming for your neck, boy. This is not a game, Neo. It is not a game. It's somewhat a mission to do. Well, I can cut the music, DJ. Well, I'm sure you can guess. Uh, DJ, go ahead and give me a little bit of music there, please. Appreciate you. After much reflection, I'd like to express my deepest apologies to anyone that I may have hurt with my comments on parenting and gender identity. 
I've always been an advocate for love and inclusivity the LGB, in the LGBTQI plus community. So I understand how my comments could have been misinterp- could have been interpreted as insensitive and, of- and offensive. Gender identity is nuanced, and I can honestly admit that I plan to better educate myself on the topic, so I can approach future conversations with more empathy. At the end of the day, I lead with love and support, or I lead with love and support. Everyone's freedom of expression. Thank you. Cut the music. Okay. Uh, you know what I noticed is that the biggest part is I better, I plan to better educate myself. You remember that when we were watching that committee meeting where we were talking with um, <clears throat> the swimmer who said that when she had came across and said that she didn't want to change in the men's locker room, they told her that she needs to go better educate herself. Y'all remember when that famous uh, celebrity, um, the celebrity comedian came out. I'm not going to say the name because I, uh, I might be saying the wrong person. But she came out and said the same kind of thing. She said a man can be a man, a woman can be a woman. And then immediately a day later, what did she say? I'm sorry for what I said. I got to better educate myself. They are coming after these people and making them re-educate themselves. Well, educate yourself on what? That's what I don't understand. Educate myself on what exactly? That a man can be a man, a woman can be a woman. There ain't no education that needs to be done. And that's what I have a problem with these people who come out, these celebrities come out, they try to stand for something because the second they money get threatened or anything gets threatened, I understand that there are some real repercussions for going against this cult when you are making money. I understand that. But that's why you don't ever go into this not having a backbone. You're 43 years old, Neo. You're 43 years old and they're treating you like a baby. We, I hate, I got to bring this up again. This is just another form of buck breaking. They always take our strongest men. They take our strongest brothers and they break them. They have them come out and say something and immediately break them. Embarrass them in front of everybody. As soon as they go against the grain for one second, they just embarrass them, flat out embarrass them. We see it happening with celebrities back to back. And I can understand, but I'm speaking for the men right now. I understand this happens to women as well. Because we saw it happen with in the comedian media that we watched a couple weeks ago. We see it happen with Riley Gaines. We see it happen with the Blair Whites of the world. Any woman, I mean, woman, <laughs> anybody who comes out and talks against all this, it's a problem. Okay? Blair's a guy. Okay? But at the same time, just anybody who comes across that way, right? Anybody! There's going to be backlash. In fact, I want to say this right quickly. The backlash I've seen against Blair, okay, is insane. Absolutely insane. Blair is clear to come out, said he's a guy, you know, still has his body parts, dealt with the mental illness. We get it. Same thing we saw happen with Scott Nugent, who's part of the gays with groomers, and the same thing we happened with Buck Angel. All these individuals, right, who look like the opposite sex. But the backlash they still get for trying to protect the kids is insane. But they still stand on it, even though they may look different to us and we may not agree with what they're doing. They still get the biggest backlash, but somehow they still stand on their stuff. But then we get people like Neo, who's a a famous celebrity making his little bit of bread and he can't stand on it for a second. See, that's why it's so important for you to come out and say this stuff in the beginning. You stand on what you believe in right on the top. But when they get you, they get you young. But I thought I think we're starting to see, and I think I said this earlier, but we're starting to see a fine line with break between celebrities and regular people. Us people who are just normal and these regular people. We saw what happened with Ariana Grande and the crazy stuff she's done with all the cheating and all the allegations going on her. We see what's happened with the Lizzo's. Anybody you think that is living this up, this this something you want to be going after, something you want to emulate. That, that barrier is starting to get broken. We need to start looking at these guys as just humans. I don't think that, I know Neo's got a big platform and everything, and we're calling him a coward and all that kind of stuff, but right now at this point, I'm just getting to the point where when I see a celebrity say anything, I don't believe them until they stand on it. Until then, you're just another human being in this world who's going to crack as soon as they start to pressure you. You're going to crack immediately. Y'all not diamonds. Y'all are dirt. Y'all are just mud balls, right? Dirt balls. As soon as you get a little pressure, bam, it all goes shattered. It's all gone. And that's just what I see. Uh, so did I expect more for Neil? No, I don't expect Jack until I see it happen. I don't expect anything. The second he got one pushback, he crumbled. 
So until I start seeing these people stand up, then I'll start believing. But a lot of these guys with the platforms, I don't believe anything they say. If they even, even if they come on and say, hey, you know what? I'm against the kids doing this. I need to see what happens when you get pushed back. And if they still stand on what they believe in, then I'm all for it. You know, you've got to do the same thing in your life. I understand it's scary and it's hard out here. This cult feels like they can destroy you, but you've got to stand up for whatever you truly believe in. And this stuff will make you stronger because this life, this life is not about likes, views, and being um, the most well-liked person on the planet, being politically correct. Because there's going to be times where you're on top of the world. There was a time when we were talking against this, when we were saying that being trans, a man, and being a man, being a woman, being a woman, we were upheld. We were like, everybody was on our side, like, yeah. Now we say it, people are like, oh, he's a bigot, he's a transphobic, he's all of this stuff. Because when we used to talk about, you know, the SJWs back then, what we called them, when we used to talk against them, man, you get... People would get views out the wazoo. People would get claps and everything. People loved it. Now you come out and say that same stuff, people are like, oh, that's trash. You're an absolute bigot. They'll scream and spit in your face now. So it's not about being liked. It's not about um, being sided with in the moment because it's going to come a day for everybody where people are going to go against you. And you got to still stand on what you believe. That's what life is truly about. Obviously, you know, it's about God. But, you know, outside of that, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's standing on your morals and your principles. And I understand not everybody believes in God and not everybody follows that route. But I just think if you live your life just going with the flow, going with the wind, scared to do anything, you're living a miserable life and you're hurting more people than you know by not standing up for something. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.